get started using Teams, we need to create a team. When you load up Microsoft Teams, you'll come to this window usually. If not, you just click on Teams, and then you should see this button at the top that says Join or Create Teams. That will take you to this window where you press Create Teams. We want to use a class team with students, a professional learning community, or a staff team with colleagues. So I'm going to give it a name, and using a good naming procedure is really important. So I'm going to start with the year, and I might say term 2, and then science 9. So this way it delineates the year, the term, and the class name. Uh, and description is optional. I hit the Create Team button, and then I can start it entering students. Uh, entering students, you want to start by using the school number and S and then typing in their last name. This will help you narrow down the students. You can see here's my son James. I'm going to hit teachers now and add a colleague. So for colleagues, I just can enter their name, first name, last name, press add. And once that's successful, I can press close. If you need to add students or colleagues after the fact, you can go into the little ellipse here and say add member and work through the same procedure for students using their school number and teachers using their name or email address and then just hit close. A final way to add students to your team is by going into the manage team section, clicking on settings and choosing team code. You can hit the generate button and once you've done that, you can share this code in an email with your students and they will be able to use that code to join the team. They would do that by going up here and entering the code in this join a team section. You type in that code and click join a team. To turn that code off so that no new students can join, you go into manage teams and settings to team code and then just hit remove. That will mean that no more students can join that team with that code. That's it.